everybody. I'm here with Master Arthur. And Arthur, I'm wondering if you remember when Daddy was putting on this dirt in the garden, what you asked me to plant. Carrots. Carrots. Why do you like carrots so much? It tastes good? Yeah. yeah. And because it's crunchy and I like crunchy stuff. It's crunchy. Would it be alright if we plant some carrots today? Yes. Is it okay if we let everybody else help a little bit too? Yeah. Well, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm not going to remember to tell you this while we're actually putting things in the rows. So these seed packs are set up exactly in the order that we're going to make rows to plant them in. We're going to start with some little fingers. And then in the next row, combined together, we're going to do uh, blue flax and Burnell's yellow Valencia onion. And then in the next row, which will be in the middle, we'll have the lunar white carrot. And then in the next row, we will have red burgundy onion, or Bermuda onion. And then on the last row, we will have cosmic purple carrots. And we're setting it up this way because flax and onion are companions of carrot. And I will put a link down in the description of my personal favorite resource for companion planting. And I like it because it's a good searchable reference and when you search it doesn't just bring you to the plant that you're looking for a companion for, it searches in all of the other fields as well. So if carrot's a companion for something else, you get a result and it might help you uh, better reference material that way. So that's the order we're going to plant things in. Okay, now this is an area of the garden in the back. I have not shown you a preparation video on this yet, but this is soil, topsoil, that I took from the back of the property. Call it a benefit of having a tractor and seven acres of land. I didn't have to pay to have topsoil brought in and dumped. I got good forest topsoil from the back of my own property. So there's a lot of these little roots and such sticking up, but I will deal with them as we go. And as the plants develop, we will add a covering to this soil. All right guys, so the first thing we need to do is make a line. So here's, this is where we're gonna plant, okay? Tracy, why do you think I'm making the line so far away from the fence? Uh, because that's where we're gonna be planting the seeds. In the line, but why, why not put it right next to the fence? Because that's where people will be stepping. That's right, we gotta have somewhere to walk, right? Mm -hmm. And if we don't, we're going to be stepping on plants the entire time. Now, do you guys think that carrots need to be planted really deep or right on top? Really deep. What do you think, Arthur? Really deep. I actually need to put them right on top. How okay. come? Because they're such a little seed that if you bury them too deep, they won't come up. They'll just stay under the soil because they never see the light. So we keep the line. No putting so here, this is all we gotta do. Wait, wait, wait. We're just gonna go like this. All right. Now the next thing we need to do is put another row in. How far away do you think we need to be? Uh, this far away. <laughs> well, we don't have to go that far. Where do you think it needs to go, Arthur? Where should the next line go? I think it should go here, actually. Where should it start? How close to the other one? Are there? Over there? Want... Yeah. Well, we don't need to go all the way back because we need to be able to walk around. So, like right there? Yeah. I think that'll be good. Alright, hold the brake however it's easier. There you go. These things are sticking to me. <laughs> Why are there ants over here? Because this is very loose, warm soil, and that's exactly what the ants like. Daddy? What, baby? Can I help for your jacket? Sure. I have to push this thing. Okay. Put Daddy. Seeds. And I want you to put one. You see how big Daddy's feet are? 
wants you to put one about every day. Okay. So here, you start putting them down, and I'll walk. Not too deep. Don't keep doing the same place, baby. Keep going all the way down the line. Whoops. All right. Thanks for helping. My turn. Can I have a turn? Okay, Arthur. So now we've got all your carrots planted in the ground. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. How long do you think you'll have to wait until we can try to eat some of your carrots? One day? A few weeks. A few weeks. It's going to take about two months, okay? Two months. Okay. Now, the reason we planted these where we did and how we did, as far as the companion planting goes, is we want to be able to grow more carrots later, right? So, some of these carrots we will leave in the ground because they will not produce seed the first year. They're biennial, and they will produce the seed on their second year. The flax is a perennial and it helps protect the carrots so by planting them together we can leave the carrots in the ground and next year when they make flowers, did you know the carrots make flowers? It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and they'll make seed and we can collect the seeds so that we can start having our very own J&J &J Acres carrots. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.